A way that a lot of people through generations have preserved history is through quilting, and that's what we're talking about next. We are joined by one of our favorites, Judy Howard, owner of Buckboard Quilts, to tell us about a big show that's going on a little bit later on next week, right? Right. Judy, how you doing? I am doing great. I think you've got a mic, so I'm going to keep this okay. mic, and you can just right. talk to us. Yeah. That'll work. This yeah. is your personal invitation Ooh, I like to that. come next Wednesday through Friday, mm -hmm. August 26th through the 28th. And it's at the City Arts Center. Mm -hmm. It's a free quilt show and freedom festival. We'll honor the military with free gifts and refreshments. And uh, we'll be exhibiting the 200 patriotic quilts that are touring the U.S. for four years. Very all cool. profits going to provide quilts for wounded soldiers and families of the fallen. And they are all included. I was in going to say, you've got a new book. What, yes. this is number four, is number that right? Number four, right. yes. This is thanking our troops, and I want to give you a personal copy, Ooh, too. Very nice, very uh, nice. It includes all these 200 quilts that honor our troops mm -hmm. and uh, also tells heartwarming little stories to inspire patriotism. Very good. So we hope you'll invite all your military and quilting friends. And Definitely for a great knows. cause, yeah. <laughs> you brought yeah. some samples, too. Let me take that, because yes. I want okay. to thumb through that. But you brought okay. some samples of some of the stuff we might be able to see. What do we got here? We have, this is Colorado Springs, of course, the big mountain mm -hmm. where Catherine Lee Bates penned the song, America the Beautiful. Ah, very good. And this is by children, Newkirk, Oklahoma students send ah. quilted postcards to the soldiers overseas. Very, very cool. This is the cover of our Thanking Our Quilts book by mm -hmm. Penny Chalk. Yeah, it looks pretty similar right there. Right, right there. Old Glory. Okay. And uh, this is by Virgie Poe in Bella Vista, Arkansas. A lot of patri patriotism going on oh, with a lot absolutely. of these, aren't there? absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Children Are a Heritage of America by Millicent Galugly. And Civil War, Letters to Lydia. Ah, very good. Go now, I see a, a blue ribbon on the flip side here. This is award-winning, then? Oh, absolutely. All of these are. I've just uh, kind of misplaced some of the ribbons. Ah, kind very of good. To keep them okay. all going. No, I understand. Yes, and this is a tribute to Jerry Don White about Desert Storm. The uh, part of the country Matt, that a lot uh, of our troops are fighting. Right, and the Independence Quilt. This is a smaller version of the quilt that is at Camp Stry Stryker Stables in Baghdad right now. And she also makes Home of the Brave quilts that um, are memorial quilts for the families of the fallen soldiers. Very good. So another beautiful quilt by Marilyn Carper, our bald eagle, and by Jody Lamb in Bartlesville. The children are a heritage of God, her one-room schoolhouse that she ah. went to school in. This is a real interesting story. Give me liberty or give me death. And Marcia... Poplin of Seminole. Her grandfather fought in World War I and got so tired of fighting in Germany that um, he pleaded with his commander to be the camp cook. <laughs> nice. He said, okay, if you survive the next battle, you're welcome to be the camp cook. Mm -hmm. They tied him to a tree in the middle of the battlefield with, with bullets and a shrapnel flying all around. Wow. And he did survive, and seven years later, he brought his family, including four-year-old Ursula, to America and opened a butcher shop and a deli in New Jersey. Holy moly. And then the four-year-old Ursula uh, ended up in New York City and fell in love with the New York pitcher, who was uh, Jesse Kuykendall, and they called him Ace, and he was the star pitcher for the New York Yankees. Mm -hmm. And then when World War II broke out, uh, he was assigned to San Francisco, and she followed him out and married him, and three years later, uh, she and her little daughter, Marcia, were waiting at the train station for all the soldiers, and a little two-year-old asked every soldier in uniform, Are you my daddy? Are you my oh, daddy? Wow. <laughs> and all of them looked really embarrassed and ran the other <laughs> direction. <laughs> well, cool, G. And we can see all these where? At the, the City Arts Center? Mm-hmm. August 26th through 28th. Make State Fire Park, Park, right there, City Arts Center. Need to go check that out. And we can get more on your book and more on you at Heavenly Patchwork. HeavenlyPatchwork.com. Judy, as always, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it's that. Pleasure. HeavenlyPatchwork.com for more information. Need to go check that out.